Welcome once again for the Shalom Music Show. Uh, we are honored today and we are graced by one of the best artists in Cape Town, not only in Cape Town, but South Africa. Actually, I just learned that he also came through to Zimbabwe some time ago. Welcome, sir, Thank Mr. You. Lysander Beja. Thank you so We are much. so delighted to have you, sir. Likewise, man. <laughs> Thanks for having me. You're welcome, man. Are you sure that you were a part of uh, the lockdown with the rest of us? <laughs> <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Man, <laughs> you're looking great, bro. You're looking great. You Thank know, you, man. this time you, you rock up and meet somebody, you're like, hey, is this the guy that I know? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you look good, man. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Appreciate man. It. Uh, without wasting much of uh, the time, um, are you ready? Absolutely. Let's ready? do this. Okay, cool. <laughs> Epeneza siya honga Usi bonile Usi kunile Ute kwala Epeneza siya honga Usi bonile Usi kunile Ute kwala E peneza si abonga Usi bonile Usi tlile Ute kwala E peneza si abonga Usi bonile Usi tlile Ute kwala E peneza si abonga Usi bonile Usi tlile Ute kwala E peneza si abonga He has done so much He has been so good He carried out from a mighty long way We bless your name We give you praise Ute wala Ebeneza Siya monga Yes Lord He has done so much He has been so good He carried us From a mighty long Name, and we give you praise. Ute kwala, epeneza, siya bonga. Usi bonile, usi tlinile. Ute wala, epeneza, siya bonga. Gosh, this was amazing, man. man. You're highly anointed. You Amen. can feel the anointing. Thank you so much. Um, so tell us, man, uh, I'm sure the viewers at home would want to know the man behind the scenes, the yeah. man behind the stage, off mm -hmm. stage. Uh, who is Lusanda Beja? Who is Lus? I always struggle with this question. <laughs> <laughs> it always feels weird for me uh, yeah. to try and explain myself. But in a nutshell, Lusana Beja is a 29-year-old born-again full-time gospel musician. Mm -hmm. um, I was born and raised in Cape Town, so I'm a Cape Townian. Mm. <laughs> and um, I just love the Lord. I'm born again, come from a Christian musical family. Mm. Um, I am very passionate about gospel music. Wow. That's wow, just about wow, it. Wow. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. Uh, so, 
Uh, besides music, yeah. I'm sure you also uh, you also a uh, worship leader at your church. Right. What else do you do for a living? So I'm a full time recording artist. Mm -hmm. um, I do Christian music. I also am a music producer. Um, I am a talent scout. I'm an entrepreneur. I've got a record label. I also yeah. do have an events company that I run yeah. separately. Yeah. 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 So yeah. I do quite. Obviously, I'm also a worship leader at my church. So I do quite a number of things, and I'm still trying to build a little bit more. Shout, yes. <laughs> you are, that, yo, man. That's, that's a huge file. Yeah. Um, so how, how do you balance all these things? How yeah. do you balance? How do you strike the balance? Um, gosh, I think I've discovered over the years that um, when you prioritize, you know, that which you prioritize, and I think mm. when you set your time out and you plan ahead of time, you're able to successfully balance things out. Mm. Um, there's no specific or other formula that I know of. It's mm. just always been, I, I know my diary and, or rather my calendar True. for my gigs. If I've got a studio session, I've got that mm. drawn down, True. you know, and I make sure that everybody that that's around me also abides by the program Definitely. or the calendar that we have so that nothing clashes, nothing, you know, delays, nothing does not happen because we didn't pre-plan. Mm. So I think when you plan things ahead of time and you flow with the plan, uh, it balances out very well. True, very yeah. well. True, man. Hey, amazing. Um, coming back to your music. Yes, sir. Um, I think we would also want to know uh, the message that you carry within your music. I'm sure uh, you have a certain message that you yeah. know that specifically God has sent me to to put out this message through my music. I'm sure yeah. we would like to know the message. The message in my music. Yeah. Um, gosh, it, it's, it, I think it's just two things for me. It's, mm. it's really all about exalting Christ as the king. Mm as the reason king because I strongly believe that all things have been handed over to the son mm. and there's no way that we can go to the father unless True. we go through the son and True. so True. when we acknowledge him the bible says that in all your ways acknowledge him recognize him yeah. and so my music is all about um, exalting Christ yes. um, just like what Jesus did Dwala, basically yeah, yeah. Um, in there I speak about Jesus being my only true solid rock mm. um, and also my, my other message is always a message of gratefulness, gratitude, mm. saying yeah. thank you yeah. to the Lord uh, with the song that we just sang earlier on Osibo Nile. Yeah. It basically talks about God having it seen us through everything that we mm. went through, all the trials and tribulations, all the challenges we've ever faced in our lives. True. Um, you know, he always sees us through. He always mm. carries us over, you know, the Red Sea. And we open our eyes. We're on the other side of the world. We're like, How did we get here? Hallelujah. <laughs> the preacher is here. Amen. Amen. Um, okay. So, yeah, man, you, you, you were talking about, um, I think, what I got from here, they, yeah. there must be a testimony somewhere within. Yeah. What 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 is your greatest testimony? I, I would like to. Know. Um, shoot, there's a lot. I can't even get to one <laughs> right now. But, yeah. um, sort of reiterating what I said, that I am so thankful. Mm. Um, I think specifically in 2020 for me, um, I've seen God do the most. I've seen God carry me through the worst of storms. Yeah. Like He pulled me out of the pits. Yeah. <laughs> He pulled yeah. me out of the pits this year, and I think, um, you know, there's just really a sense of gratitude in my heart mm. for God always being with me, his hand of protection being upon me, and just his grace and favor, man, resting mm. on me. There's just like a, a whole bucket of thankfulness. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> so, yeah. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. On that note, yes, you remind me of a song of <laughs> thankfulness. I hope I will get this one right. Yeah. Uh, it goes something like... Yes, yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Um, okay, man. 
uh, I would like to know what, what has been your greatest uh, revelation so far in 2020? Greatest revelation so far. Oh, so much English there, Shalom. <laughs> uh, greatest revelation in 2020 for me has got to be um, based on John chapter 1. Um, in fact, two scriptures for me. One is in the book of Psalms 23. One is in the book of John chapter 1. Okay. John speaks there about a lot of things, but he says, um, without God's presence, and I'm going to paraphrase, without mm. God's presence, uh, there was nothing formed. So True. without God's manifested presence, meaning without him, there can never be. Um, without him, we can never create. Without yeah. him, we can never start. True. Without him, True. we can never reset, True. you know, and True. build. True. And so it's it's of utmost importance for me, you know, that's what I had to understand that in everything I do, in everything I begin, in everything mm. I start, in everything I establish mm. or build, God's presence has to be there. True. And, you know, um, Psalms 23, David there speaks about God restoring yeah. In the, in the version of it, it's closer. It we are obui sa umpe from no one. Yes. Um, meaning he restores my soul. He brings me back to my original format. Mm. So every time I get lost in the way, every time I fall, every That's time bad. I fall in the pits, he pulls me out. True. He true, restores true. me back to myself. Amazing, amazing. Yo, this is deep. I think we might have. You to need. Do you have your prayer shawl here? <laughs> the anointing yes. all. Rabba <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Um, okay, so we want to play a game. Yes, sir. Uh, the game is called Word Slash Melody uh, Association. Association. All right. Mm. I saw this on your YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were watching? Yes, guys. I was. Guys, I was. <laughs> you, um, uh, you're, you're I saw amazing. this on your YouTube channel. Amazing, Beautiful. Amazing. Yes, sir. Okay, so the first word is drum roll. You didn't explain how the game is gonna work. Uh, okay, uh, so I'm just gonna say I'm, I'm just gonna say the word. Right. Uh, or I'll play a melody. Okay. And then you just have to sing. Jesus. I've seen you audition, Lord. People, so I am, I'm guessing today, ladies and gentlemen. Oh Lord. We are auditioning. My last audition was one. in 2016. <laughs> so how? <Really? laughs> yes, that was about six years ago. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that was yeah. a long time. Ago. That was a long time ago. Okay, welcome back, sir. Okay. Um, yeah, the word is uinwele. Uinwele, Baba. Uinwele. Uinwele, Baba. Uinwele, Uinwele, Baba. Wait, wait. Is this the Lusana Bella we know? <laughs> Did you just pause my worship? <laughs> hey, good Lord. Ah. Glory. Okay, continue. Uinwele, Uinwele, Baba. Uinwele, Baba. Uinwele, Uinwele, Baba. Uinwele, Uinwele, Baba. Just wondering how 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 many points out of ten, guys? How much do we give this? <laughs> For what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will continue. We'll continue. We'll show you the review. Yes, sir. Uh, the next word is mlekas. Yo, guys, this word got my tongue. Please say that again. Let's test you. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. That's the one. Yeah. That's the yeah. one. So I'll do the traditional. Ah. Oh. Ah. 
So much yeah. drama, Shalom. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, okay, man. Um, yes, sir. I, 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 I was uh, in my stalker mode. Um, Come a through. Few days. Confession. <laughs> days ago. <laughs> I'm like, okay, let me see. Um, so I came across uh, this other video whereby your mom. Yeah. Wow, she's yeah. amazing. She's, yeah. she's, she's amazing. Absolutely, man. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's where you get all the inspiration. Ab- absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. Mm. She was singing a song called Yebo by Giti. Yes, sir. Is it? That's is the it? one. Okay, okay. That's yeah, the one. Congrats. Right. Yeah. Ah, we should be getting a crowd right there. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so, man, Ash, um, tell us, man, why why did you choose traditional music? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sure, yeah, you can hear for yourselves, guys. <laughs> this man can gore, uh, urban, yeah. uh, soul, I yeah. don't know, whatever. Uh, but why why traditional uh, music? Oh, gosh. I always struggle with this question as well. <laughs> um, one, because I grew up in a, in a family that really, you know, is very musical. Mm. Um, my mom being the influence of my singing life. Yeah. Um, you know, you know, that's the only sound that connected me to the Lord. Mm. And I mean, um, gospel music is gospel music. It's very True. broad. When you look at it from a broader spectrum of things, you'll understand that, True. you know, it's never really just about the sound, True. but it's about the anointing and the message True. and the power invested in the song. Yeah. And so sometimes... I'll find urban music or international sounds mm. blessing my heart so much. Mm. But there's just something about the sound as a kaya. Mm. You know, when you bring it back home, True. when you become, True. you know, when you express yourself, you know, in your own sound that defines you, True. our own original indigenous sound mm. as South Africans, mm. you know, um, something happens to me. Yeah. And I think it, it began with Uche Sulitwala, actually. Mm. Mm. Um, you know, that's that's when for me it just really made so much sense that I would love to express myself in this way. Mm. Um, I also am a very musical person, even if I have to say so myself. Mm. I have allowed myself to study a bit of yeah. music. Please don't wow. quote me. <laughs> <laughs> so just to further advance myself and always be ahead of, you know, m- you know, my game. And yeah. because music is evolving, the industry is evolving, true, true. you always need to know, you know, what's what happening where. Mm. And so... You know, it's always good to have that in the background. But for me, I chose traditional gospel music because I feel like it's the best way I can express myself. True, man. You know what I mean? True, man. I, I think we can, we can, I, I personally saw it uh, on yeah. Jesu Lidwala. I was like watching on TV. I'm like, yo, this is so pure. This is yeah. so genuine. It's coming yeah. from a place of, um, of purity. That's it. Um, okay. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. Um, so, man, uh, I, I, I also uh, figure that you also have a record label, yeah. right? Um, so tell us more about it. Do we mm-hmm. just rock up and be like, yo, Lusanda, what's up, <laughs> my bro? We are here. I don't so. know. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. So I've got a record label. It's called Betcha Music. Mm. 
And um, so currently signed artists there are two, and that's just okay. me and my mom. Okay. Um, and I think I've also just uh, discovered another passion of mine, which is talent. Mm. Um, there's just like a lot of things that I'm discovering about myself that I don't really want to pursue, <laughs> like producing music. Yo, join really? us. Join <laughs> us. Join us. So, so I, I'm, I'm really passionate about that. But now I've also, I can sort of like put on the head of a talent scout. So um, I think that's where the Lord is gravitating me towards in this season, where I help others, you know, get to their place of destiny um, as a destiny helper or as a midwife, if Mm. if you could have it that way. Um, uh, So we we don't have our doors open for people to come and pay and record. And then we give them, we're not in the business of that, but we are more in the business of just utilizing our space Mm. to release good quality filled with the spirit of the lord and and so much integrity wow. um because whatever we want to put out there we want to make sure that even in in the next 10, 10 15 years to come yes. um you know the next generation is able to relate yes. with the music and is able to still feel the same grace that we felt in 2018 when we recorded Jesu Lidwala. Mm. And so, and so, yeah, so people don't just rock up, but we, we, so I could be at an event, yeah. you know, I could be performing at some gig and I spot somebody, I could be at a church service mm. and I spot somebody, I could be at a funeral or even a wedding, mm. you know, and I spot someone that I think deserves or should be getting an opportunity to wow. be heard. Wow. And wow. I just give help where I can. Wow. Wow. Yeah. On behalf of this upcoming artist, I think this is a very good initiative. Yeah. Yeah. because especially in our gospel industry um, right. it's not always where you get to have yeah. an opportunity to be mentored mm-hmm. by somebody who is obviously mm. up there uh, so yeah. man that's that's a very good uh, initiative yeah. um, however ish I wish we could yeah spend more time hours and hours and hours i know you're a very busy man man and uh, i want to thank you so much for coming through today and gracing us i'm sure uh, people have been inspired have been blessed uh but i know everyone is waiting for this one 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 song (laughs) i know it i know it okay so ladies and gentlemen jesu you did not sing for me though yebo bagiti I feel like yeah, I need to hear you sing. Just serenade me before I go. Come on, somebody. I think that will be a blessing. The Come li- through the for lyrics us. lyrics would, would vex me. <laughs> <laughs> I might eat my time. I'll try and help you. <laughs> okay, I'll just do the first line and then yes, you sir. Yeah, Sombo yes, Lord, Duma is only in Kenny Zeke Uche Sufanelwe Ubuko Sile Ehe Wotuni Swapezu. Yes, sir. 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 Eh, what do you swap his own? Jehovah, a bully yago. Oh, 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 Jehovah. Evole minyango, umu chehova, evole minyango, ageko ungavala. O uvulile, 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 uvulile. 
Um, thank you very much for coming through and um, gracing us. Um, yes, sir. We've been waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Sandalabahaya, 
sisuga kuwe Age komunye Age komunye Age komunye Age komunye Asiga mono fananawe Singa shona Everybody, one more time. Oh, hallelujah! Sing a show now. Thank you, Lord. Sisuga es la leni sako. Sisuga et wa leni le tuwa geko. Ageko, ageko, ageko. Hallelujah. Sing a show now, pige. Sing a show now, Sisuga kuwe age komu so zabiko ofana na we. Age komunye age ko age komun. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Sisuga kuwe age komu asoza simtole ofana. We thank you, Lord. We bless your name, God. We bless your name, God. We give you all the glory. We honor and we adore you. You are so mighty in this place, O God. We thank you, Lord. You've been so good to us, Jesus. Where can we run from you? Sing a shonapi. Hallelujah, Sisuga Buwe Age Komu Soza Biko. Thank you, Lord. I feel the anointing in this place. Oh, Hallelujah. Oh, sing a shona. Age komu soza biko ofana na ye.